Good morning and welcome. Today we talk again about thumb rings in specific shallow hook thumb rings and their specific the Fu Hao thumb rings. I have two of them. So what is now the first of all thumb ring, you know thumb rings. For me it is not a release aid and I will do a video about it why I think that a thumb ring is not a release aid. But now we talk about thumb rings and they come in different sizes and shapes and you know them, they are they have longer lips and shorter lips, they don't have a groove there, they have a groove there, so there are really a lot of different kind of rings. This is the Korean, the male ring. This is for me considered a release aid because here I hold and I let go, so this is a release. This would be the only thumb ring considered for me a release aid. The others not. So what's the difference now? These are deep hook, this is shallow hook and for me the cylindrical Manchurian ring is a shallow hook too. What does it mean? It's quite simple. It's in the name deep hook. So you have your thumb ring, you have your thumb ring, you put the string behind and then you lock it and then you see the angle of your thumb looks kind of like this. Okay, of course you put your fingers in the right position and whatever, but the thumb looks like this. So you have a secure lock when you shoot and you let go. That's why deep hook, shallow hook. Oh, now my fingers are swollen again a little. So this is a shallow hook ring. There you put the string in this groove or in this groove and then you simply hook the thumb like this so you don't hook the thumb all the way. You simply make it a little that it touches the middle finger and that's all. You see the angle of the thumb, the thumb is almost straight. Whereas with a deep hook the thumb is completely angled. So never shoot a shallow hook, thumb ring, deep hook. It's not going to work. And now let's hope that it will work today. So, And of course in the Manchurian ring it's the same you only have a very slight bend in the thumb. That's why I consider a Manchurian ring a shallow hook too. The difference between the, like this Fu Hao rings and the Manchurian, Manchurian is you have the string behind the ring and here you have the string some kind of on the ring. So that's the difference. So shallow hook, string on the ring, shallow hook, string behind the ring. The easy thing of a Manchurian ring is it doesn't matter how the orientation is, it will always work. That's why Manchurian rings are not so bad in design. These ones, of course, you need to have perfectly aligned Oi! that the string rests here. So if when you have it like this, it's not going to work. So you always need to have it nice and aligned. But then on the other side, um, you know, with a string twist we do or something, or with like when you see the Kyoto arches, they simply rotate the wrist. They have a small groove, like this groove in their leather glove. And then they hold the bow at full draw, and then they simply start slowly twisting the wrist, and all of a sudden, bing, the string comes out. And then they say it shoots, so you are surprised by the release. And that's the same here. You can do this with a shallow hook thumb ring. You simply rotate a little, a little, a little, and then bing, the release happens without you releasing. So these are the differences. And even this one is a shallow hook made by my friend in America, Tammy Fletcher. You have the string behind the ring, and this is, look, a shallow hook. I don't need to deep hook this ring. But we don't talk about this one, we don't talk about this. They come next. The cylindrical, nice one, deer antler from Alibo will come next. Today we talk about these two Fu Hao thumb rings, and this one is from Alibo. Their interpretation, this one is from UN. And let's go into detail. There we have these two thumb rings we talk about today. This one is the Fu Hao interpretation from Alibo, nice and sleek, and this is a really nice made, massive one from. A UN archery from Mark Tom. Both are from Horn, deer antlers, something like this. 
or moose or I don't know yet now. The Alibo one is $50 and this one is I think $40. You have here two holes you can put the lanyard. I am not sure if I got one with it. And this one here you get with this lanyard so you can put it on your wrist and secure it like so. So then you don't lose it or if you want to put it away then you simply yeah, yeah, my fingers are swollen today. That's quite good. So, so check. Oh, so then you don't lose it, so you can leave it dangling. Nice. So, what do we have size-wise? As you see, the Fu Hao from UN is a little bigger and is decorated, and the Alibo one is more sleek. And the big difference is. The UN has really a groove inside the ring where you rest the string and in Alibo's version you rest the groove here behind this edge and you have here a base so the string doesn't touch your uh, thumb but there's no back part and here you really put the string in this groove and this is the major difference of these two and then of course the angle of the lip is a little different here there is a quite wide surface and this is a bit more narrow so the string runs here a little easier i guess but we simply shoot them now so let's start with alibo's fuhao shallow hook so you can really nice and secure this one here you know then it doesn't come off but we save this then of course this one is nice it just fits my thumb nicely so you make sure that the ring is closer to the joint here not too far back there okay so always pull it as far as possible to the knuckle here and then all you want to do is put the string there and then simply rest the ring on the middle finger but you need to apply quite some pressure and you need to make sure that the ring, first of all, is really aligned, not like this or like this. And then you can shoot. And what I always recommend when you start, if you never shot a shallow hook thumb ring, don't start with a high poundage. Take a light poundage bow, like a whatever snake, and practice first. Because this is really tricky. The, when you don't do it properly, the string can come off, can slip out of the groove. And this is not a very beneficial thing when you have, have go away, go away. When you have a heavy poundage bow, then it might not be so beneficial. So, difference now. Normal thumb ring, you would lock the thumb with your index finger. Here, the index finger can point downwards like this, so you don't lock with the index finger at all. And now you apply pressure, then you draw back. And then you let go and it's really once you get the hang of it i do not until now it's really something nice so with a low poundage i manage with higher poundage it it's a little more tricky so you simply press this whole big surface of the ring on your middle finger this is your lock so and then you can pull back and it takes only a little movement then the ring opens and the string is going away and that's a really really cool feature and as i said before now you can slightly twist so you don't even have to open here you simply slightly twist until the string comes out let me show you <laughs> string twist look it's then in full draw first you need to hold it straight so it's a little tricky and a little fiddly and then you simply see by rotating you let the bow let the string release nice. So with this Alibo one works just nice. Now the Fuhao massive ring, but feels quite good. So this one is really a solid piece and it doesn't go anywhere else like this. Then again, this big flat part rests on your middle finger and the string in this groove. So I'm not sure if it's helpful that you have a groove instead of this edge. Let's see, again with the snake bow, obviously. So here you really need to find, so with the other one I simply could slide from there backwards and I had it here, you need to really put the ring in, uh, the string in this groove. Let's see. Hmm. 
think it feels a little bit more secure. But it's me now, let's see. And my wrist is not relaxed yet. And string twist works in the same way. You simply rotate your wrist a little and then the string comes out without you releasing on purpose. That's what they do in Kyoto. Look, you stand here, ding, and through this I release. I mean, it's pretty cool. But once you practiced enough with the snake or with a low poundage bow, we raise the stakes and we use some proper bow. Now we draw a 32 inch one and then we draw 36 or 35 inch. So now back to Alibo ring and we shoot with Grosha's Chinese or Manchu bow 32 inches and the bow is 40 pounds. So let's see how this works with the Alibo ring. And always make sure that you point somewhere safe just in case the string slips out of your ring in the beginning. Well, this is what I mean, see? When you are not careful, the string will slip out with higher poundage and get go away just in case. Oh, I shot this knock. That's nice. So, so with higher poundages, I'm not there yet. Have to admit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but once you get the fiddle, it's it's tricky. But once you get the hang of it, it's nice. Especially if you draw longer, it makes sense. Yeah, and it's precisely, it's really crisp and nice release. So instead of having all the thumb, coming over and the string goes whatever the string seems whoosh, so you have this deflection minimized really nice so now the how oh. and sweaty fingers are not helpful if the ring is already tight so with the uh, grosha and the destroyers so one thing with the alibo I could simply slide forward in the groove here you need to really Put the string in the groove so setting up the shot is a little more not tricky but it takes a little more but then I think this ring feels more safe to draw so I don't have this feeling that I misfire again but the release until the string comes out of this groove is a little harsher not so smooth like Alibo's ring so But then works just nice. Yeah, and then you get used to it. So you can do your string twist or you simply open gently. But the release feels a little more jerky with this one until the string comes out of this deep groove compared to the smaller groove from Alibo. Alibo ring should feel better now because you should now the Shonkoro. This, you know, the falcon. Yes, my patrons all did it, right? They knew what that means. Let's see how this one performs. It has, yeah, roughly 40 pounds. So it's a little, simply the longer draw. How is it when you draw further back? Then it feels really good. So, Olivo, the string, nice. It needs practice guys so don't simply start shooting directly point towards a target short distance when you start with it that you get the feeling of it it's not so easy see what can happen when you're not careful oh so it's hot today so but once you feel it you know what you have to do and then it's fine, but it really takes practice. At least for me, because you went Fuhao and the Shonkoro. So it feels like the string rests a little safer in here. Let's see. Ah, but uh, 
the release sounds sounds more rough, but it feels safer, I have to admit. So let's see if we do a proper. Oh, nice. These arrows are a little too lightweight there. 550 and should be 600. Ooh, and precisely so for now. I feel safer with the Fu Hao, but the release is a little eh, jerky, but then on the target it works. So, conclusion, every shallow hook thumb ring needs a lot of practice that you get used to it and as you saw my shooting really bad because I'm more aware of what my thumb ring is now doing. It's not part of me yet, so it takes a lot of shots that you get used to, that you know how to hold it and exactly and then repeat. So it needs a lot of practice, start with low poundage and start short distance and point always directly towards the target. So don't do sky draw or stuff like this. The string can slip off, happen to me too, can happen to you. For the rest, I like the release more of the Alibo. It's more smooth, it's like flick, it's nice. This one is more a bit jerky and you see the ledge. You see it's smooth and here's an edge. So you feel it, so you need to really string twist a little that the groove comes out here. So it needs even more practice 
but overall this ring feels for me right now way more safe to draw than this one. So with this one I never had the feeling that I dry fire. With this one I don't have... This didn't give me the feedback yet, So, but both are awesome. And then it's simply a matter of training and maybe a matter of a design choice. What you will, If you are looking for the smoother release, go with the Alibo for sure. You can compensate here with a little string twist, but of course, you know, you need to know. So both awesome, but they need a lot of practice. I missed a lot of shots today. So that's all for the Fu Hao thumb rings. You can check them on UN Archery or on alibowshop.com. $40, $50 is what you get. And it's really interesting. And if you're already into thumb release, try at least once really short distance low poundage but try it's complete different approach here so it feels completely different but it feels good especially on long draw it feels really nice because you don't hook it's it's really like like a manchurian ring almost you need to test it and that's all i have for you today thank you very much for watching catch you in the next one